What's going on champs and champettes, it's Fire Monkey here and we're back with another commentary style video on the commentary YouTube channel. I know a major shocker for anyone out there who's been viewing the commentary channel recently, where we've been playing the Binding of Isaac and having a lapse of absolutely nothing in the land of this channel. However, I am here to change that as I've recently, you know, made some thumbnails, planned out some ideas for the next few videos. And with that said, in today's video, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we are talking about Rainbow Six Siege. And I want to start this video off by mentioning I used to play Rainbow Six Siege like the bare minimum a long time ago on my Xbox. That was because it was on Xbox Game Pass and I do still believe it's on there either that or I own it, but I hadn't played it in the longest time, like way before they, I think they were still on year one when I was playing it. In fact, I don't even think they had finished year one by the time I was playing it, but I ended up falling off of the game really quickly. I stopped playing it, you know, I moved on to other games, mainly Fortnite, that type of stuff, and Rainbow Six Siege was just that game where it's like, I don't like it, I don't dislike it, it's there, but I don't ever plan on playing it. And then recently I had heard the news that Rainbow Six Siege had added a deathmatch game mode to their game, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna bite the bullet, I'm gonna re-download the game, and I'm gonna try it out. And let me tell you, I'm actually enjoying myself, however there are a few issues with this game that I want to bring up in today's video. So firstly, let's talk about the things I enjoy. I enjoy Team Deathmatch, I enjoy normal Rainbow Six Siege, believe it or not, because as long as I'm not playing unranked or ranked, you know, as long as I'm just going through the quick play mode where typically everyone's without their microphone you know everyone's just chilling trying to play a quick match or two I'm having a fun time you know I'm just enjoying it and it was all thanks to the team deathmatch mode they recently added that made me get into the game however something that's very a little bit like I, I guess just something annoying is how Rainbow Six monetizes their game because you have these operators right and you don't have all of them unlocked so let me set the stage here you either are like me and you own the game already in the past whether you got it for free you know Game Pass or you ended up buying it full price at $60 or even discounted and then once you have the game on top of that you have yearly passes to unlock different operators all of which have their own abilities and stuff and all of these operators end up you know requiring you to spend real money to unlock them and play as them on top of that you have a cosmetic system that you would see in a free to play game where you can spend real money or you know grind out the game to earn real in game currency in order to purchase like one or two cosmetics cosmetics from the store. However, some of the cosmetics, of course, are locked to spending real money no matter what you want. So already you have two different types of monetization options. Well, here comes the third one. They have a battle pass system where each year they have, I think, four passes. It's kind of like each quarter has a different, you know, section of a battle pass. And in it, you can get a new operator. You can get some cosmetics, some alpha crates or whatever you want to do. And that brings us up to our last bit of monetization options in this game, which is a loot box system. They utilize a pack system and how this works is basically, hey, here's a pack. You can either have a chance of getting it every time you win a game, and each time you don't get one, you have a higher chance of getting one the next match that you do win. Um, or, you can just go ahead and buy these packs. You know, get them in the battle pass. Buy them. Get them occasionally very rarely as a Twitch drop. So, in reality, let's, let's just break that segment down. You have a $60 game, potentially a little bit cheaper if you know you got it at a discount, that has loot boxes. It has has battle passes, it has a cosmetic system, and it has a yearly pass system where you unlock new operators in case you didn't get them from the previous season's battle passes. So it has so many different type of monetization options that it's like the game itself doesn't know what it wants to do when it comes to trying to get money from its players. And I'm going to be completely honest, I'm one of those people who don't want to spend a lot of money in this game. Like, maybe I'll buy one or two battle passes depending on if I end up playing this game a ton, and depending on how far I actually manage to make it in the current battle pass before it ends. And of course, with the leak about a Yakuza collaboration, I might end up spending some money to get those because I'm a major Yakuza fan, and in fact, I might be doing a Yakuza Let's Play on this channel in the near future. But I don't really plan on spending money because there's so many things that they want you to try spending money on. And as someone who's played one of their other games that was on Xbox Game Pass, Rainbow Six Extraction, I ended up having a massive selection, or at least, you know, a pretty decent selection of operators for both attack and defense, to the point where I'm like, yeah, I don't really need to spend money, because, you know, I already have a decent list of operators, they have their own cool abilities, and I'll probably find two or three of these that I really enjoy and stick to those, you know, grind them out to completion, get all the camos or whatever I can for them, and enjoy those characters. And, you know, if I get a new character, maybe I'll play it, maybe I won't. But it's just a little bit of an interesting predicament that I've noticed with Rainbow Six Siege, where it's a pretty decent game. You know, it has its own gameplay, it's got its own style, 
style and it is really well done. It has a lot of nice unique stuff going for it, it's just the whole entire aspect of all their different monetization options that wants to throw me off. And now I'll go more in depth about that team deathmatch mode that I'm really enjoying in tomorrow's YouTube video where we're continuing the topic of Rainbow Six Siege, but I do want to mention Quick Play. So something I've noticed is that as a new character, you know, as a new user to Rainbow Six, I am able to play in the newcomers playlist. And I don't know if that's a permanent thing that anyone can play in or once you reach around level 10 that it goes away, but I was playing a little bit of that, right? And let me tell you, in the newcomers playlist, Man, I, I felt like everyone else was just, they just installed the game for the first time. Because there was like 90% of the players had no clue what they were doing. When you would go down or whenever you would mark something, they would completely ignore that. You found an enemy, you shot an enemy, you marked an enemy, you know, you found the bomb location. That doesn't matter to the new players, you know, that is just a non-existent thing. So I stopped playing the newcomer playlist and I went to quick play. Because, you know, I didn't want to play Deathmatch 24-7 for some reason I was, reasons I'll get into in tomorrow's video. And in the quick quick play mode, something I had realized is it's a lot more varied. Like it's, you know, pretty easy to still play. Personally for me, it might have skill-based matchmaking or something still in there, so it makes it kind of enjoyable, but it's just, it's way better to play than that newcomer mode where it's like quick play is where, hey, you got these people who are just trying to vibe, you know, they might be playing a match or two, and who cares if you're bad? Who cares if you're good? You don't want to get insulted? Just turn off game chat, you know, turn off voice chat and you're fine. So I've been personally enjoying quick play and it almost feels like quick play is more the speed for me than that newcomer playlist is and it's just a pretty enjoyable experience overall. Now will I continue playing this long term? I guess we'll have to find out and see. It really depends on how the content is, how still the game gets for me because you know of course they're getting new content and all this all the time but most of it seems to be paid content as I mentioned battle passes so it's really just going to be a 50-50 to see if they actually manage as a free to play player to bring more content for me to enjoy or if I just you know end up being able to enjoy the game without feeling stressed out 24-7. But if you played Rainbow Rainbow Six Siege recently, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below, and as always, have a nice day or night or afternoon, whatever time it might be, Christmas, Hanukkah, I really don't know, and I will see you champs and champettes tomorrow with another YouTube video. Peace out.